what's the competition level been like on the offensive and defensive line this this fall? It's been a healthy competition, I think. Uh, I mean, like some days they're going to win, and some days we're going to win. Uh, I really feel like iron sharpens iron, so I really feel like we've really gotten better over the spring ball. We really came together close over the summer, and then finishing up fall ball, I think we're at a pretty good place. Does it get difficult to do it three or four weeks in a row? I mean, do you start kind of understanding who's going to be across from you all the time? And how much good does that do? Well, yeah, I mean, you're going to learn kind of the tendencies of the other guy and yeah. kind of you can kind of cheat the play, I guess. You can based off their stance or based off what they're what they're calling out, right? But, uh, I mean, that's a big thing in the game, too. I mean, shoot, we get to see the guy in front of us that he has a tendency where he opens up his shoulders when he's going to pull or they, they have communication, certain words that mean certain blocks or certain things they're going to do. So you try to key in on that and just keep the play any way you can. Is there a certain lineman that you're, like, most excited to go against? on the offensive side? I mean, our starting O is pretty solid up front. So, I mean, I feel like I get a pretty good look every time I every time I go against them. I mean, I move from being an end, four-eye, to a nose, to a shade, to a three, to opposite four-eye. So I get to go against those guys every day a lot. So I'd say they're all pretty solid together. Did you get a black shirt today? Uh, I'll leave that to the social media. You guys can find out. <laughs> uh, like everyone else does. Hey, Coach Janander was talking uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago about you, your mental game growing over the course of this off season. Like, what have you been doing to make sure that that continues to go to the next level? Film. Uh, I've been with Staley like I have been the past two years I've been here. Uh, I'm really starting to understand formations now, what, what kind of plays we can get out of those formations. Uh, and then really just live reps. I mean, when you're out there in fall camp taking, I don't know, 20 to 25 to 30 reps a day, live reps against the ones and twos, uh, it really helps kind of heighten your game as well. Because, I mean, that's the only way you get better is through live reps. It looks easy on pen and paper, right? But when you get out there, you don't know what's going to happen. Hypothetically, if you were to get a black shirt, how would you react to that? <laughs> uh, I'd be pretty honored. Um, I mean, it's a big deal. Uh, so... I, I, it makes me feel good that they think my standard and my morals are up to that kind of standard, and it just means I have to work harder uh, to keep it. So, Hypothetically. Hypothetically, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Damien, in your room, that name the captain, what, does that, I mean, does that kind of make sense from his Yeah, it, may, it makes sense a lot. I mean, he's a really vocal dude. I mean, he brings a lot of energy, too. I mean, he doesn't, he, like, he doesn't like big brother you, but like when you when you need to step it up, he's gonna let you know. And when you did good, he's gonna let you know as well. So I think he's a really good leader. He kind of really fits that role pretty well. Has, has he always been like that? Because you you played with him for a couple years now, or have you kind of seen him grow into that role? Yes. When I first got here, I mean, he was kind of he was with Darian behind his brother, kind of learning from him. I feel like in the next, uh, last year, we got to see him kind of come out of his shell and become that kind of leader role. And then this year, I mean, he's just made leaps and so I mean shoot I listen to him I follow him wherever he tells me to go so I'm really happy that he got named as a captain what do you see from Illinois yeah have you dug much much into that yet yeah I mean they're they're gonna be a tough team you know I mean from compared to last year they have a new offensive coordinator new coaching staff so we've just been watching kind of what kind of plays he liked to run he liked to ran, run sorry um Compared to, uh, to his last school, and then I mean they're, they're going to be solid up front like they usually are. I mean last year you saw what they did to us, so can't let it happen to us again. And I mean I'm going in there with a chip on my shoulder at least. So. Yeah, I was going to say that that game motivates you. Yeah, for sure. I mean it's great that we get to have that as our first game. I mean there's no warm up, there's no soft punches. It's I mean it's going to be a brawl. I feel like and this is going to be a pretty good game. Do you, do you think because of that guys are going to be motivated? Obviously it's the first game, but still just coming out with maybe a little extra energy because of it? I mean, yeah, but I feel like we have to come out every game like that because, you know, Nebraska takes a lot of stuff, a lot of heat in the media. So, I mean, I'm, I'm every game this year, I'm going to play with a chip on my shoulder to prove them wrong. But uh, at the end of the day, it's one game at a time. So, for now, I'm focused on Illinois. Challenge Based a team, like you said, new coaching staff, new coordinators. Is that different than preparing for somebody you maybe are a little more familiar with? I mean, yeah, because I mean, with coaches that have been there a long time, I mean, you kind of get an understanding of what they like to call and what they don't. So, uh, with the new with the new coach that they have now, I mean, all you really have is his old school tape. Um, and then I guess we had a little bit of the spring game, I guess, but I mean, that doesn't really show you anything. So, really, just a lot of film from uh, his past school.
Okay. On the flip side of that, is it easier to hammer home the message that you guys have to focus on yourselves because there's just so much unknown that you'll have to adjust in game? Right, yeah. So uh, Coach T has been really preaching to us that, hey, we, they might be throwing something that we don't even know what they're going to throw, right? And so he says, at least, as long as you go to your technique and just play the game, you know how you know how to play the game, then uh, we're still going to be pretty well, pretty well rounded. How, uh, how, how fun is it to stop the run? Like, I mean, it, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big moment. I mean, I, I still remember last year against Minnesota. I mean, I had a goal line stop, and then I mean, I ran my feet, and he didn't get in the end zone. So, I mean, I was pretty pumped after that. And so, knowing that, like, you stop him at the line, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm like this all day. Like, bring it, you know what I'm saying? So, and you play a team that kind of wants to get downhill, you know, and like. Oh yeah, their their backs are pretty good. Uh, number two, Chase, he's pretty good. Uh, he's really quick, and then. Uh, number twenty six, Epstein. He uh, he's more of their downhill runner. So, I mean, he brought he, he hit me last year, and I felt it a little bit more. But compared to now, uh, from myself last year, I feel like I've matured enough to kind of take on those hits and kind of bring a little bit more power. So.